What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So while progress is kind of at a pause with the new build on the gas gas, still waiting on quite a few parts from Cerakote and the suspension be back and all that stuff. I figured today was a good day because I recently put brand new tires on the current gas gas. A lot of you guys comment or, or DM me on Instagram and want to know about the Dunlop tire stickers. I'm fortunate enough to have the grip of them when they send me tires, they send me a few of those. These are really hard to come by. Sometimes Dunlop does giveaways on their Instagram. So follow them on Instagram. Like I said, sometimes they give them away with a set of tires or whatever. But I figured I would show you guys how to put them on because they're not that easy to put on. They're not just like a normal die cut sticker where they, you know, stick on and you peel the top off. I don't know exactly what it is with these stickers, but they're like almost like a rubbery texture. And I think they have like some kind of like acid on the back of them that eats into the rubber because once they're on, they're on forever. And um, especially after like a day of sitting, they're like really embedded into the tire. But these actually take a little bit of prep and um, a little bit more attention than a normal sticker. So what I do is I always like to line them up with the... Uh, rim logo whether you have a DID or another brand um, I always run DID that's what I build my W wheels with and then what I do is these like little nipple things it's hard to see on camera but the little nipples that, that like stick out off the side of the tire um, they're kind of like these ones uh, I always cut those off with a razor blade and kind of prep them the main reason that I do this is because when I take photos I like the wheel to be you know straight up and down read all the logos and all that um, and then I clean them off with a little bit of contact cleaner so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and then I'll show you what it's like to install these things. But these definitely add like a cool look to them. I don't know, the yellow just kind of pops. I've seen some guys um, even like fill in wherever it is, the Dunlop like this, part of the Dunlop with like a yellow paint pen. That looks pretty cool too, but the authentic Dunlop ones look the best. So like I said, I'm gonna throw this thing on a tripod and uh, clean this thing up real quick and then we'll show you how to put them on. Okay, so again, these are kind of a weird like rubber texture and the back is like, you can even tell how easy that comes off. It's not like a, normal adhesive on the back. Um, and if you like catch it with your finger or something, they definitely like smudge a little bit. So I don't really know what these are made of, but it looked really cool. Again, kind of line it up with the DID. Um, and definitely want to get the arch right as you line them up too. It's a little tricky, but when you put them on, like you can see it doesn't really, I mean, they kind of stick, but I don't know. I always kind of like pat them down um, and then kind of wait for them to do their thing before I peel this thing off. Cause you peel them off too soon they kind of tend to like stretch um, like a corner or even like the center of the any letter that you're peeling them off of. So I don't know, just kind of like work it around like this, let them, let them stick, let them eat into the tire, whatever it, whatever it has to do. And then once it kind of starts to peel itself off, it almost like this, uh, I don't know, it's not like a normal die cut, it's like this this weird texture so they kind of start to like peel themselves off once they stick to the tire or the the backing so let's see if this one's ready see it kind of starts to like uh deform the letters again it, like if you're really like precise about this you can have like a uh part of the tire that doesn't have any lettering and you can line that up that, that works even better but um i don't know you beggars can't be choosers i had somebody else put these tires on because I suck at it and I don't want to damage my rims and I have to order new ones. So we'll see how this comes off. Boom, there it is. Um, you can kind of see me like working the front of the sticker as I'm trying to peel off the back. That's kind of been the best uh, method that I've found. If you do forget to clean the tire, don't panic. That's what I just did. I forgot to clean the, the tire with contact cleaner because I was so eager to get these things on. But like I said, it adds just a little bit more of a flare to the bike. I don't know, it's just a tiny little detail that I really love. Um, shout out to Dunlop for still hooking it up with tires and the tire stickers themselves. Um, it's always good to have a good set of rubber underneath you because that's the only part of the bike that should touch the ground <laughs> If you're lucky, maybe drag a bar. That's kind of cool But hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, kind of a random video But they do give away these stickers every now and again on their Instagram So I figured if you're one of those guys that won them or girls um, Or if you're in the future and you win a set of tire stickers Then it's kind of informative to know how to 
properly put them on, at least my method of putting them on. But thank you again. And if you don't already, subscribe, hit the like button, let me know what you're thinking, and I'll talk to you later. I'm so high.